Vannayam Shri Guru Shri Atha Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitaantam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shivashikam Vidam Sya Om Ajnana Timuranda Sya Gyanachana Shalakya Chakshuru Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namam Gurva Bistam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Gurva Bistam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanagam Govinda Vidam Ujjwalam Bharatanam Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Bande Vishwa Guru Nisha Divyat Bhagavat Prem Nauhi Vijapranam Devum Divyatanam Suchanda Varanam Balarka Chilanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyambudim Shri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Varam Bandetam Shivaram Madeka Sharanam Nyashi Shradashi Dharam Mansha Kaupata Rubyas Chakripa Sindhu Bhyavacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vishna Bhyo Namo Nama Namo Mahabhananyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavise Nama So we're continuing with our readings of Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat by Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur and this is the Adi Skanda, uh, Adi Kanda, pardon me, Adi Kanda, of, uh, and this is chapter 8, The Disappearance of Jagannath Mishra. That's Mahaprabhu's father. So, text number one. Jaya Jaya Kripa Sindhu, Sri Gaurasundha, Jaya Sachi Jagana, Gripa Shashada. All glories to Sri Gaurasundha, the ocean of mercy. All glories to the moonlight lord in the house of Sachi and Jagana. Jaya Jaya Nityananda Swarupera Pran, Jaya Jaya Sankirtana Dharmera Nidan. All glories to the life and soul of Nityananda Swarup, all glories to the inaugurator of the congregational chanting of the holy names. Bhakta Goshti Sahita Goranga Jaya Jaya, Shunile Chaitanya Gata Bhakti Lava Hoi. All glories to Sri Goranga along with his devotees and associates. By hearing the topics of Lord Chaitanya, one attains the devotional service of the Lord. Henamate Mahaprabhu Jagannath Gare Nigura Achenai Keho Chinite Napare This way is the Supreme Lord confident, confidentially resided in the house of Jagannath Mishra. No one, is able, no one was able to recognize him. Vaya Krita Namajat Ache Pradivite Sakala Kelaya Prabhu Na Pari Kohite. The Lord enjoyed every variety of childhood sports found in the world. Who can describe them all? Veda Dware Bhakta Hoibe Sakala Purane Kichu Seshe Shunibe Sakala Bhagavane. Anyway, that is, this is the translation. Let's go back and see. Vaya Krita Namajat Achi Pritivite Sakala Kelaya Prabhu Ke Kohe Ke Pare Kohite. Okay. 
Lord enjoyed a, all varieties of childhood sports. Who can describe them all? Sometimes it's preferable on a translation that's not always exactly literal because it captures more of the idea. <coughs> the Lord enjoyed all varieties of childhood sports who can describe them all. So he was very active as a child playing Playing with the other children. Veda Dwara Bhyakta Hoi Be Sakala Purane Kichu Shei Shei Shuni Be Sakala Bhagavane. These pastimes will later be described through the Vedas in all the Puranas. And fortunate souls will hear about them. So often, Vrindavan Das Thakur is. He's stating that I have compiled the childhood pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but later others will come and they will describe um, more in more detail everything, further pastimes of Mahaprabhu. And that, of course, refers to Krishna Das Kaviraj, who would later present the Chaitanya Charitamrita along with other, other uh, contemporary writers who presented different pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like, like the Chaitanya Mangal. Originally, the Chaitanya Bhagavad was called the Chaitanya Mangal, but later it's called the Chaitanya Bhagavad. There's a, there was a subsequent book called the Chaitanya Mangal. E mata gora chandra bhaya rase bola yagyo pavi tera kala asya milila. The Sri Gora Sundar remained fully absorbed in his childhood pastimes. The Sri Gora Sundar remained fully absorbed in his childhood pastimes. The time came for his accepting the Brahman thread for getting Gayatri. Yagya Sutra Putra Dimare Mishravar Bandhu Vargatakiya Anila Nijagar. Yagya Upavita. So the, the, the Brahman thread is is called the Poita and the Yagya, Yagya Pavitra means the purifying ceremony which accompanies uh, or fire sacrifice which accompanies re receiving the Brahman thread. And there's a prayer given that starts like that. Yagya Pavitra Parama Pavitra and then which is said during the time when person receives a thread placed on his shoulders or his shoulder. Yagya Sutra Putra Dibare Mishtabar Bandhu Varga Dakiya Anila Nijagar. For the sacred thread ceremony of his son, Jagadat Mishra invited all of his friends and relatives to his house. Are you sit do you have something you're sitting on? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. For the sacred Thread ceremony of his son Jagannath Mishra invited all of his friends and relatives to his house. Paramaharishi Sabe Ashia Milila Jara Jena Jogya Kari Korite Lagila. Everyone happily gathered there and assisted in various ways according to their ability. Strigane Jai Dia Krishna Gunagai Natagane Mridangas Shanai Bamshivai. The women chanted Krishna's glories and the musicians played Murdanga, Shanai, and flute. Vibragane Veda Pade Vate Rayavar Sachigrihe Hoila Anan 
Ananda Avatar. The Brahmins recited the Vedas and the professional blessers chanted prayers. Thus Sachi Devi's house appeared as the incarnation of ecstasy. The, the word Rayabar means prayers or songs of glorification as well as reciter of prayers or messenger. The phrase Hoyla Nanda Avatar means happiness per, personified has appeared. <coughs> So, happiness personified appeared at the time when Mahaprabhu received the sacred thread. <laughs> Yajya Sutra Dorivena Shri Gora Sundar Shubha Yoga Sakoila Sachigar. As Shri Gora Sundar accepted the Brahman thread, all the auspicious planetary conjunctions fell on the house of Sachi. So, it was a very auspicious time. Astrologically, when Mahaprabhu accepted his sacred thread. Shubha Mase Shubha Dine Shubha Kandori Dari Lena Yagya Sutra Koranga Shri Hari The month, day, and moment were all auspicious as Sri Gaurahari accepted the Brahman thread. Shovila Shri Anga Yagya Sutra Manohar Shukma Rupe Sheshava Vedila Kolebar Enchanting thread beautified the body of the Lord as if Ananta Sesha surrounded his body in a subtle form. And actually, Ananta Sesha does assume the form of the thread. Oila Bhamana Rupa Prabhu Gorachandra Dekite Savar Bari Paramananda. I should say, Ananta Sesha does assume the form of the Lord's sacred thread. Everyone was most pleased to see how Lord Gorachandra resembled Bhamana Dev. <laughs> so the Lord, Lord is young, it's during his childhood. And Bhamana Dev, who was an incarnation of the Lord, was a dwarf. He was also small. Apurva Brahmanya Teja Deki Sarbagane Naragyana Ara Keho Nahi Gore Mane. On seeing his wonderful Brahman effulgence, no one considered him an ordinary child. Hatidanda Kandi Juli Sri Gora Sundar Bikakore Prabhu Sarva Seva Karagar. Then with a stick in his hand and a bag on his shoulder, Sri Gora Sundar went to beg alms at the houses of his devotees. So when one gets normally when one gets initiation. Especially it's done at the mud, one goes uh, for begging, which is dakshi. One presents the guru some, uh, some donation, but normally one goes with, with this cloth extended like this and goes from person to person. And um, there's a way of addressing the man, there's a way of addressing the the women and says, uh, um, and Bika Dehi, please give me some, uh, some, my begging, please give me some help, and then they give that, and then it's presented to the guru, everything that that person begs, that's his guru dakshi. Jagarjata Shakti Bika Sabai Santoshe Prabhura Julite Diya Narigana Hase. Everyone gave in satisfaction according to their ability. All the women smiled as they put their alms in the Lord's bags. So alms, in this case, can refer to money and can also refer to... You're sitting on something, I think. What? Estás sentado sobre algo. Sí, mi, mi sombrero. <laughs> this alms refers here to money. It can also refer to rice or other foodstuffs that sometimes when it's holding out this cloth and some people will put money in the cloth, some people put rice in the cloth, some people put potatoes in the cloth, uncooked potatoes. It's all brought back as part of the begging. Dvija patni rupadori brahmani rudrani yata pati brata muni bargara grihini <coughs> the chaste wives of Brahma, Shiva, and various great sages all took the form of 
Brahmins' wives. Sri Bhamana Ru Prabhur Dekya Santoshe Sabai Julite Bika Dia Dia Hase. They felt great satisfaction seeing Vishwambar's. see somehow cooperatively that this is connected. Dvijapatni Rupadori Brahmani Rudrani Yatapati Brata Muni Bhargata Grihini. The chaste wives of Brahma, Shiva, and various great sages all took the form of Brahmin's wives. Sri Bhamana Rup Prabhu Dekya Santoshe Sabai Julite Bika Dia Dia Hase. They felt great satisfaction seeing Vishwambara's Bhaman form and smiled as they placed alms in the Lord's in the Lord's bag. Prabhu Korana Sri Bhamana Rupa Lila Jivara Udara Lagi E Sakala Kela. The Lord also enjoyed his Vaman pastimes, which were enacted for the deliverance of the conditioned souls. So these Vamana pastimes re refer to more more than the fact that the Lord that Vaman was a dwarf and the Lord was also very young, so he wasn't fully grown, apparently, but also Bhamana, he also went, an incarnation of the Lord, and he went begging. He went to the courtyard of Bali Maharaj, who was a king, and he begged from him three paces of land. And Bali Maharaj said, what is this? You are very small and three paces of land. What will you do with three paces of land? There's nothing. You should ask for something significant. One should not have to continually return begging for more, but one should take amply what one needs. I can give you, I can give you, you know, a village, a large tract of land, whatever you want, but three paces of land is nothing. And, and then Vamana asked, answered, he said, for one whose senses are uncontrolled, one will never be satisfied with anything. So I'm just asking for three paces of land. If you like, you can, you can fulfill my request. So Vamana Day, uh, so Bali Maharaj agreed. And that's a story. His, his guru, Sukracharya, disagreed because he knew that Vamana Dev is the Supreme Lord and he would take everything away from Bali Maharaj. But, and he argued, and Bali Maharaj said, we're worshiping the Lord. Now you tell me he'll take everything away from me. And then he dismissed his guru. And that's what one does with a guru who doesn't really properly represent the Lord. Then Vamanadev assumed the form of, of Trivikram. Trivikram? He expanded himself into a gigantic form. And with his first step or pace, he covered all the lower, lower planetary system. And with his second step, he covered all the remaining upper planetary systems. And then Vamana Dave said, so you promised me three steps of land, and I've only taken two. And where will I get my third step? Then Bali Maharaj said, my head, I still own my head. I still possess my head. So put your third step on my head. And Vamana, in that way, Bali Maharaj surrendered to Vamana Dev. And Vamana Dev then accepted Bali Maharaj and put, gave him his own planet. What? That's part of a beautiful pastime. But the Lord also enjoyed his vomit and pastimes, 
which were in, in, enacted for the deliverance of the conditioned souls. Jaya Jaya Sri Bhamana Rupa Gorachandra Dhanade Ho Riroye Tomara Para Juan Va. All glories to Sri Gorachandra, who accepted the form of Lord Bhamana. Please donate your lotus feet in charity to my heart. The second line of this verse means, O Gorasundar, Gora I pray that you manifest the lotus feet of your Vaman form in my heart. In this regard, one may refer to the complete surrender of Bali Maharaj, recorded in the Srimad Bhagavatam, 8th Canto, Chapter 22. Jai Shune Prabhur Yagya Yagya Sutra Grahan Sepai Chaitanya Chandra Charane Sharan. Whoever hears the topics of the Lord accepting a Brahman thread certainly attains the shelter of Sri Chaitanya's lotus feet. Henamate Vaikunta Nayaka Sachigare Vedara Niguda Nana Mata Krita Kore. In this way, the Lord of Vaikunta enjoyed in the house of Sachi various pastimes that are unknown even in the Vedas. Gare Sarva Shastra Bujie Samita Gare Sarva Shastra Bujie Sam Samihita Goshti Maje Prabhur Parite Hoyla Chita After properly understanding the meanings of the scriptures at home, the Lord desired to study in the company of, of his associates. Nabari peyache adya pak shiromani gangadas pandit jehena sandipani. In Nabari, there resided the topmost teacher, Gangadas Pandit, who was non different from the Sandipani Muni. During the Krishna Leela, Sandipani Muni was his teacher. And during Mahaprabhu's Leela, uh, it was Gangadas Pandit who was his teacher. And it says here that, that Gangadas Pandit was non different from Sandipani Muni. In other words, Sandipani Muni had appeared as Gangadas Pandit. Vyakaran Shastrera Ekanta Tatpabit. Taratai Pandite Prabhura Samihita. He was in full knowledge of the grammatical literatures, so the Lord desired to study under him. So in, in Sanskrit in particular, also in Bengali, one has to thoroughly, thoroughly learn and understand gra the grammar because so much of the meaning depends on a complete understanding of the grammar. Without the understanding of, of the intricacies of, of Sanskrit grammar, then one cannot properly present what is the, uh, what is the purport of the Vedic literature. Bhujilena putrera ingita mishrabar putras Sange Gela Gangadas Dwijagar, understanding the desire of his son, Jagannath Mishra took him to the house of the Brahman Gangadas. After master, mastering the grammar, then one can un, uh, uh, study things like alankar. Alankar means the proper construction and ornamentation of literature, especially poetry. Mishra Deki Gangadas Sabram. Sambrame utila alingana kori eg asane basila. When they arrived, Gangada stood up out of respect and embraced Sri Mishra. They then sat together on an asan. Mishra bole putra me dilun tomastane paraiba shunaiba sakala apane. Jagannath Mishra said, I am offering you my son. Please teach him everything. Gangadas Bole Bora Bhagya Sayamar, Padai Mujata Shakti Achayamar. Gangadas replied, It is my great fortune. I will teach him to the best of my ability. Shishya Deki Paramanande Gangadas, Putra Prai Koriya Rakila Nijapash. Gangadas was most happy to see his new student, and he treated him like his own son. 
jatabap jatabap kya gangaras pandira koren sak sakrit shunile matra takor danana after hearing only once the lord would assimilate whatever gangadas pandit explained so he mahaprabhu just hearing one time he could properly understand present and repeat everything that he'd heard and that ability in particular to hear once is called shruti dar shruti means hearing and if one can hear once and then say exactly and this this is more than just a photographic memory this is actually you know to be able to hear once and understand and properly say everything after hearing only once the lord would assimilate whatever gangadas pandit explained guru jatika bakya korana kandan punarbar sevakya korana stapan he would refute the explanations of his guru and then again establish the explanation that he had just refuted sahasra sahasra shishya parijata jan hena karo shakti nahi Dibare Dushan, there were thousands of students, but no one had the ability to defeat his explanations, to defeat Mahaprabhu's explanations. So this means also that in some discussion or debate, Mahaprabhu could refute what the other what the other side would present, and after refuting it, then turn around and refute his own refutation in other words establish what the person has had has said dekhiya adbhut budi guru harshita sarvasishya shrishta kore kore la pujita gangadas was pleased to see nimai's wonderful intelligence and he accepted him as his best student I remember also when I was in school and actually when I I you know I felt like I stopped being a boy is when my teacher he asked me to refute what was a very accepted and popular stance or or statement viewpoint of the government and I thought when he told me to do this how how can how can somebody you know refute what is what the what the government is saying you know it was like uh what he called naive to think that everything that was being said was you know a validity i had that kind of you know as a young boy patriotism you could say or false belief and then actually when when i studied the subject and then then i could refute I could refute what was the accepted you know viewpoint. That's where I think by that more than anything else at least at that time that changed my life. That learning that not everything that's being said is actually a validity. Jatapare Gangadas Panditerastane Sabare Takor Chalena Anukane The Lord would regularly challenge and defeat all of Gangadas Pandit's other students. And I saw Srila Govindamars, he would do that too. He would he would uh hear something on television, you know, because what what Govindamars used to especially watch on television was the news. when he was in india he'd see the news and then he'd give his own commentary on the news and often his commentary was very unique very unique commentary and he'd say you know so and so meaning this person of this country has given them a great slap <laughs> so 
Shri Murari Gupta Shri Kamala Kantanam Krishna Nanda Arijata Goshtira Pradhan Shri Murari Gupta Shri Kamala Kanta and Shri Krishna Nanda were some of the Lord's prominent classmates. Murari Gupta, Kamala Kanta, and Shri Krishna Nanda. They're all fam very famous devotees and, and writers. Sabarijalaye Prabhu Pangi Jigyasiya Sishugyane Keho Kichu Nabole Hasiya. The Lord challenged and defeated them all, even the elder boys, but they would consider the Lord just a child and simply smile at him. Emata Prati Din Padiya Shunya Ganga Snane Chali Nija Masaya Loya. After school, the re Lord regularly went with his friends to bathe in the Ganges. Padu Jara Antanahi Nabadipa Pure Padiya Madhyane Sabe Gangasnan Kore. In Nabadip, there were innumerable students, and they all took bath in the Ganges at midday. So everyone would go to take their midday bath before taking lunch. Oh, and chant Gayatri also when uh, they're bathing. So this is, this is very nice. Eko adya paker sahasrasishugan anyonye kala kalaha korena anukan. And also, Nabadeep during that time was a was one of the centers of learning of India. The people would come, so many people would come up from all over Bengal and other parts of it, India. They would come to Nabadeep to study. It was very famous center of learning. Each teacher had thousands of students and they would regularly challenge the students of the other teachers. Each teacher had thousands of students and they would regularly challenge the students of the other teachers. Pratamabhyasa Prabhu Swabhava Chanchal Padu Yaganera Saha Korana Kondal, as the Lord was young and restless, he would also quarrel with the other students. Kehoboli Tora Guru Kon Buditara Kehoboli E Deka Amisishya Jara. Someone would challenge, Your teacher is not very learned. Another would say, See whose disciple I am. <laughs> you know, let's see. Your teacher, your teacher is really good. Let's see you defeat me. They would react to each other like that. Emata albia be hoi galagali tabe jala fela feli tabe deaboli. In this way, they would begin to. In this way, they began to quarrel with harsh words, and soon they would splash water and throw sand at each other. So this galagali, you know, m modern. Modern translation of gully gully would be trash talk. They would start to trash talk each other. In this way, they began to quarrel with harsh words, and soon they would splash water and throw sand at each other. Tabehoi maramari che jahare pare kardama felia karo gaye ke homare. Eventually, they would beat each other or throw mud at each other. Rajara dohai stia keho karidare maria palaya keho gangana upare. Some boy in the name of the king would catch another boy as someone would beat another and then swim across the Ganges to safety. Now they're all playing. Somebody would be in the name of the king would go arrest somebody else and somebody else would would uh, would fight with somebody else and then swim away across the Ganga. Eto huda huri kore pariya sakal bole karamoya sab hoy Ganga jal. They wrestled so intensely that the waters of the Ganges became full of sand and mud. Jala bari bare nahi pare narigad na pare kori te snana brahmana sajan. In that situation, so you have appeared after so many days. 
In that situation, the girls were unable to fill their water pots, and the gentle Brahmins were unable to take their bath. So there's so much commotion, mud slinging, and fighting going on in the Ganges that the girls were unable to fill their water pots because the water would be so agitated, full of sand, and the Brahmins were unable to take their bath. Parama Chanchula Prabhu, Vishwambarai, Emata Prabhu, Prati, Gate Gate Jai. Sri Vishwambar was most restless. He went to each bathing god. So there are many different bathing gods. Prati Gate Padu Yara Antanahi Pai, Takur Kolahola Kore, Prati Thai Thai. At each god there were innumerable students, and the Lord debated at every god. Pratigate Jai Prabhu Gangaya Santari Ekogate Duichari Dandakrita Kori. The Lord swam to each ghat and enjoyed debating there for one or two hours. So, so he's debating, and at the same time, he's very young. So if he defeats somebody, they don't take it. They just think, oh, he's a child. I don't, they don't play so much importance. Jata jata pramanika padu jaragan tarabole kolahola koraha kikaran. The senior students asked the boys, Why are you arguing? Jigyasa koraha buji karakon budi briti panji tikara ke jani deki shudi. Let us see who can explain the proper forms of vritti, panji, and tika. Vritti is the brief explanation of a verse. Tika is the expanded explanation of a verse, and Panji is a poetic description of the subject. Previously, Kayastas used to write Panji. Uh, on the Kalapa grammar composed, of Sarva, composed by Sarva Barma, there is a Tika written by Shushena Vidya Bhushan, a Panji written by Trilochana Das, and a Vritti written by Durga Sima that are all very famous. Ganga Das Pandit taught Kalapa grammar to his students, headed by Nimai. The word Shudi means the pure form, the real truth, the purport, and the confidential truth. Prabhu Boli Balo Balo E Kata Hoi Jigyasuka Amare Jahara Chite Loi. The Lord replied, Yes, good. You can ask me anything you like. Balo, balo. Okay, let's bring it on. <laughs> balo means good. The Lord replied, yes, good. You can ask me anything you like. Deho boli eta keni kora ahankar prabhu boli jagyas saha jechite tomar. One student asked him, why are you so conceited? And Nimai replied, ask me whatever you like. Datu Sutra Vaka Naha Bole Se Paduya Prabhu Bole Vaka Nije Shunamanadiya. The same student then said, Explain the sutras on verbal roots. The Lord replied, Listen attentively to what I say. So, so this is important. This also exists in practically all languages, not so prominent in, in English. It is more in Sanskrit and Bengali and other language too. There is, a, there, is, there is roots of verbs, and the root verbs are then, based on the roots, regular verbs are conjugated. And not regular verbs, they, they, go, they, they may change even the verbal root. The Lord replied, listen attentively to what I say. Sarva Shakti Samanvita Prabhu Bhagavan Kodilena Sutra Vyakya Jai Hoi Brahman. The all powerful Supreme Lord Vishwambar then explained the sutras according to the prescribed grammatical rules. And those rules also exist in English, and there are some verbal roots. There are different forms based on the verbal roots for past tense, present tense future tense, uh, perfect, uh, you know, subjunctive, all these forms, all these things change. The verbal root may be, in some cases, maybe in English, may be retained and then 
added to it, and sometimes it's changed. But in other languages, the verbal root often remains the same, and the endings will change according to the case. In case doesn't mean just a case. It means the, the actual, the actual form of the verb. Sarva Shakti Samambita Prabhu Bhagavan Kori Lena Sutra Vyakya Jehoi Praman, the All Powerful Supreme Lord Vishwambar, then explained the sutras according to the prescribed grammatical rule, rules. Vyakya Shuni Savi Bole Prasham Shabachan Prabhu Bole Ebe Shuna Kori Jay Kandan. Hearing his explanation, everyone praised him. The Lord then said, Now hear me refute these explanations. So now he's going to refute the, the same explanations that he had given. Chata Vyakya Koila Taha Dushila Saka Prabhuboli Stapa Ebe Kara Achebo. After the Lord refuted each of his explanations, he then asked, Now who can reestablish these explanations? So he is doing a lot of you know, he's, it's, he's very proud. Mahaprabhu is very proud. And he can take, he can state something, refute it, then establish again his explanation. Chamatkara sabai bhavana mani mani prabhu boli shuna ebe koreye stapane. Everyone there was struck with wonder as Nimai said, now hear me, hear me reestablish those explanations. Punahena Bhyakya Kori Lena Gorachandra Sarvamate Sundara Kato Nahimanda. Sri Gorachandra then again established those explanations in such a wonderful way that no one could find any fault. And it is said that Srila Sridhar Maharaj, he was very, very good in, in discussion. And especially when he spoke with Mayavadis, who tried to establish an impersonal explanation of, 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 uh, of the Vedas or of Sanskrit or Bengali, then Guru Maharaj, Srila Sridhar Maharaj, would say, okay, now first you give your explanation, let me hear that, and then they would explain. And then Guru Maharaj would say, but if this is true, then this would follow, but that cannot be. And if this were true, that, that would follow, and that also cannot be. So therefore, your explanations are, are not correct, because if this were true, it is contradictory what would follow. So he is very good. We heard. We heard that one famous person who debated against Guru Maharaj we heard this from Govindamaj. He said that person was so soundly defeated that he actually uh, passed stool. <laughs> that person was very soundly defeated. Penahena Bhyakya Korilena Gorachandra Sarvamate Sundare Kato Nahimana because it became a matter of losing much face, losing face. After he was so, that person was so soundly defeated by Srila Sridhar Maharaj. Punahena Vyakya Korilena Gorachandra Sarvamate Sundar Katao Nahimanda. Sri Gorachandra then again established those explanations in such a wonderful way that no one could find any fault. And Srila Sridhar Maharaj, he also established understandings and explanations of the Shastras based on common sense. For instance, if someone said, Lord, Lord Shiva is the supreme thing, then Srila Sridhar Maharaj would say, but Lord Shiva accepts the, the water which came from the lotus feet of Vishnu on his head. Because when when Vamanadeva assumed the form of Varukrama and expanded himself to cover the whole universe, then one of his toes pierced the covering of the universe and the Akash Ganga, the Ganga, started to fall to the planets, with, especially the earth, with such great force that it would cause devastation. But in order to save the, save the 
save the planet, to save the earth. Then Lord Shiva said, I will accept the water on my head, on my hair, and I will catch it with my hair. And he did. And then you can see pictures of Lord Shiva it has with the Ganga coming out of his hair or coming into his hair, you might say. So in this way, Guru Maharaj said, oh, if you're arguing who, who's, sub, who's supreme, Vishnu or Shiva, then we can see that Lord Shiva accepts the foot water of Vishnu on his head. That was a simple, very simple explanation. Punahena Vyakya Korilena Gorachandra Sarvamate Sundara Katao Nahimanda. Sri Gorachandra then again established those explanations in such a wonderful way that no one could find any fault. Jatasa Brahmanika Padu Jaragan Santoshe Sabai Korilena Halingan. All the senior students then embraced Nimai in satisfaction. They were very satisfied. And, but we'll also see that some of his, some of the devotees, Mahaprabhu was so proud and able to defeat anybody, and as soon as he would see somebody, he'd, he'd start arguing with that person. Sometimes they'd see him, and then they'd you know, go around a different path to avoid meeting him <laughs> because they were afraid of getting caught and defeated in an argument. Jatasa Brahmanika Padu Janagan Santoshe Sabai Korilena Alingan. All the senior students then embrace Nimai in satisfaction. Padu Yasakala Boli Ajigare Jaha Kali Jay Jigyasi Taha Boli Bare Jaha. The other students said, Today you can go home and tomorrow we will have more questions for you. Emata Prati Deen Janabira Jale. Vaikuntha Nayaka Vidya Rasi Kele Kele. In this way, the Lord of Vaikuntha enjoyed this pastime as a student playing in the water of the Ganges. A Krita Lagiya Sarvagya Brihaspati Sishya Zaha Navadipe Hoila Utpati. To assist in his pastimes, the omniscient Brihaspati took birth in Navadip along with his disciples. Jala Krita Kori Prabhu Sishya Gan Sange Kane Kane Gangara Uparijai Range While sporting in the Ganges, the Lord and his other friends would sometimes swim to the other side. The word the word Gangara Upari refer gang, the words Gangara Upari refers to Kulia or the present day city of Nabadeep. Bahu Manorata Purve Achila Gangar Jamunara Deki Krishna Chandra Bihar. Seeing the good fortune of the Jamuna in obtaining the association of Lord Krishna, the Ganges had cherished the desire for the same opportunity. Kabe Hoibe Kamora Jamunara Bhagya Nirabadi Ganga E Bali Bena Bhakya. The Ganges constantly prayed, When will I be fortunate like the Jamuna? Because Krishna had played in the waters of the Jamuna. And now Mahaprabhu and Navadip, he's doing the same in the water of the Ganga. Jajapiya Ganga Aja Bhavari Bandita Tatapiya Jamunara Padase Banshita. Although the Ganges is worshipped by Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva, she nevertheless still desires the good fortune of the Jamuna. Banshakopataru Prabhu Sri Gorasunar. Janavira Banshapurna Kori Nirantar. Lord Gorasunda is like a wish fulfilling tree that constantly satisfies the desires of the Ganges. Kari Bahubida Krita Janavira Jali Grihei Lena Gorachandra Kutu Hale. After enjoying various pastimes in the waters of the Ganges, Sri Gorachandra joyfully returned home. Chatta Bidi Kori Prabhu Sri Vishnu Pujan Tula Sire Jalaki Diya Korena Bojan. The Lord then worshipped Vishnu according to regulation, and after watering Tulsi, he took his meal. Bojana Koriya Matra Prabhu Se Kane Pushtakaloya Giya Basena Nirjane. 
Immediately after taking his meal, the Lord took his books and sat in a solitary place. So this practice still goes on uh, of, you know, the bathing in the Ganges, especially at midday before taking his meal, then doing some worship and worship of Tulsi, worship of the Lord. Then the Lord, then Mahaprabhu would take his uh, meal. And when later, when Mahaprabhu was in in uh, Jagannath Puri, every day at midday, he would take his bath in the sea and then come take his and uh, come take his meal. Sometimes meeting with Haridas Sakur or if Sanatan or Rupa Goswami were there, he'd meet with them. But he'd take meet them at midday, take his then take his bath in the sea, then take his meal. And Srila Srila Sridhar Marsh and Srila uh, also um, our Srila Govinda Mars. They used to bathe at midday be, before taking their meal. And Srila Sridhar Marsh, while he was bathing, what would he, he would he would chant the what is it, the Chaitanyastaka? He would chant while he was bathing. Uh, he would chant the prayers of Mahaprabhu while he's bathing. And Govinda Maharaj said, that's why there are songs, and Govinda learned all these songs but just by listening to Guru Maharaj. While Guru Maharaj was bathing, he would, Govinda Maharaj would hear these songs and he learned them by memory because Guru Maharaj already recited them. So... Bojana Kuriya Matra Prabhu Sekhane Pushtakaloya Giya Masena Nirjane. Immediately after taking his meal, the Lord took his books and sat in a solitary place. Apane Korana Prabhu Sutra Tipani Buliya Pushtakarase Sarva Devamani. The Lord was a crest jewel among the demigods, fully absorbed himself in his studies and composed his own commentaries on the sutras. Okay, one more verse. Deki Anande Bhashe Mishra Mahashai Ratre Dini Harishe Kichwe Najanai Seeing his son studying attentively, Jagannath Mishra floated in an ocean of happiness and forgot whether it was day or night. So, this is very significant because this this chapter seeing how how happy Jagannath Mishra was his, with his son because this chapter actually deals with the disappearance of Jagannath Mishra so that will but this is dealing with Mahaprabhu's studies how Mahaprabhu became such a great Scholar, and especially during this time, he's learned. He went and he's learning from Gangadas, and he's able to defeat all the other boys in debate. And yeah, very nice. So now I'll sing Hari Hari. This Chaitanya Bhagwat is very nice. We're reading it. Yeah. That's Chaitanya Bhagwat. Yes. With, with, with translation. Uh, this translation you can look at. Uh, yeah, and it's Bhumipati. Bhumipati's translation. That's his name. In the audio version, it's, does it quote all the. Um, all, this, all the Bengali verses. <clears throat> See, there's another translation, another translation which is uh, be, by Bengali Sarvabhavana. And, and he is, that translation is often read. It's just the, it's just the, the prose of the verse, the, just the prose of the whole Chaitanya Charitamrita. But this one by... This one is by Bhumipati. It has the translation of the verses and commentaries by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. You, you were reading commentaries. 
No, I wasn't reading the commentaries. And sometimes the commentaries go on for 10, 12, 15 pages. Even in this one, there's some of the commentaries are long, but. Uh, no, there. Well, yeah, that's true, but there are some extensive commentaries, just as there are in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Some, some of the commentaries, some, a lot of verses don't have commentaries, and then all of a sudden, or then some, some important verse, they'll have a long commentary. I believe he, does. yes, he's, he wrote in English. His, his, his Brahma Samhita was presented in English. Of course, it was edited by, uh, by uh, what's it, by, what's his name? Uh, Saint, who wrote the, uh, Professor Sanyal, I believe. He, he. He edited it, so it's not all exactly Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's words. But he did meet with English gentlemen who were visiting the the Viceroy and other persons who would come to India. He would meet with them and talk no, with them. Sometimes I read some things with his, with his name on them. I'm never sure if it's a translated version or something. Well, his English was a little old. Well, his, let's put it this way, as it was stated by Govinda Mars, his English was, was, you know, we would say very, you know, Britannic, Britannical and educated English and not always very easily understood. It was all, often a little complex. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's English. And ornate, as Maharaj is saying. So I'll sing Hari Harai. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama. Jadavaya Madavaya Keshavaya Nama. Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan. Giridari Gopinatha Marana Mohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Gadadara Sri Vasari Gora Bhakta Vina Gopala Bhattarasa Raguna Shri Gopala Kori Charana Bhandhan Shri Kori Charana Bhandhan Ekai Gosai Jarmui Taranas Kastavar Bada Renu Mora Panchagas Kastavar Bada Renu Mora Panchagas Janame Janame More Abila Janame Janame More Abila Jabe Branche Koyla Bhas Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori Shri 
Hari Guru Vaishnava Pare Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Padma Korea Hari Nam Sangir Tana Kohe Naratamuna Now, since it's a codicy uh, today, which means no grains are taken today, part of a codicy vrata or fast, but I'm also going to sing a uh, song that's sung on a codicy, which is called Sri Hari Vasari Giti. And you can find this in the songbook if you're anyone interested. And it's on page 267. And it's imp- appropriate since we're reading Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat. It's appropriate since we're reading Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat that this song, Sri Hari Vasara Giti, is written by the same author, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur. Okay. This is Sangana Kadasis. Sri Hari Vasari Hari Kirtana Vidhan. Nitya Ram Vila Prabhu Jagatera Pran Nitya Ram Vila Prabhu Jagatera Pran Kirtana Dwani Gopala Govinda Vidanga Mandira Bhaje Shankakarata Sangirtana Sange Sabhoi Lo Misha Vamande Uti Lo Dwane Puri Akasha Jodhikera Amangala Jaya Sabnasha Jodhikera Amangala Jaya Hari Mangala Sangirdhan Modena Che Jagannatha Mishra Nanda Savara Angete Shobe Shri Chandana Mala Anande Nachoye Sobe Oye Bibola Nijanande Nache Mahaprabhu Vishwamba Karanera Tali Shuni Ati Manoha Karanera Tali Shuni Ati Manoha Bhavadeshi Malanahi Roha Yegalaya Sindhya Padoye Gya Bhakatera Gai Jaranamanande Shiva Vasanana Jane Jarara Senache Shiva Senache Apane Jaraname Baumiki Hoylo Tapodana Jaraname Aja Mila Pailo Mojana Jaraname 
Parikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridari Juki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Charya Statara Sada Shishi Mad Shila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Gosai Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Charya Statara Sada Shishi Mad Shila Bhakti Rakakshi Ar Dev Gosai Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Shila Bhakti Sunan Saraswati Gosain Thakur ki jai, jai om Vishnu Pad, Srila Gaur ki Shordas, Babaji Maharaj ki jai, jai om Vishnu Pad, Srila Satchinananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur ki jai, jai om Vishnu Pad, Vaishnava Sarvabhama, Srila Jagannath Das, Babaji Maharaj ki jai, Rupanuka Guru Bharga ki jai, Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur ki jai, Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath, Sri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Das Raghunath, Shad Goswami Prabhu ki jai, Primsi Goshi Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadan Harshi Basadi Sri Gora Bhakta Brinda Ki Jai. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki Jai. Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat Ki Jai. Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai. Uh, Vishwabharanya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai. Srila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai. Uh, Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Madhacharya Brinda Ki Jai, Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Tulasi Madharani Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, uh, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan, Sham Kunda Radha Kunda Kalinda Yamuna Ju Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sai Bhashram Ki Jai, 
Samavira Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Sangritan Ki Jai, uh, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai, Shri Pad Bhakti Chandan Parvat Maharaj Ki Jai, Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Go, Shri Akarasi Upavas Ki Jai. Hmm.